Hey, what's up guys? It's Tip, and things are about to get pretty mysterious. But that's okay, because honestly, I am a huge Agatha Christie fan, and as a result, I am a big fan of today's featured quest, The Missing Diplomat. The Missing Diplomat is a level 28 Alliance exclusive quest that spans the course of five levels and involves identifying the culprits behind the disappearance of a diplomat that was sent from Stormwind to Theramore. Now, without spoiling anything, I do want to say that one of the reasons why I love this quest is because it involves one of my favorite factions in all of World of Warcraft, the Defias Thieves. But it's not just the Defias Thieves that make this quest interesting, and I think you're going to see that as we move along. So let's go ahead and get started. The missing diplomat is picked up in the Stormwind Cathedral from the NPC Thomas the Altar Boy, who right away tells you that you should go to Stormwind Keep and he wants you to convene with the bishop over there to see what's going on. Now this first part of the quest is actually one of the most interesting parts. What you end up finding out was that yes, there was a diplomat and he was sent to Theramore to convene with Jaina, but somehow along the way he went missing. And as a result, the bishop asks you to go all around Stormwind talking to different NPCs to figure out just what the heck is going on. It's a really cool way to introduce some of the other NPCs in Stormwind, aside from like the auctioneers and the bankers and the guys that we already know. Instead, you get the opportunity to talk to like the cheese vendor and some random NPCs across the city, guys that you thought had no purpose previously, but are actually playing a pivotal role in this quest. So the first shady character that you're sent to is this guy, Worgen, who is basically just chilling out here in the Valley of Heroes fishing. When you come across him as a level 10 entering Stormwind for the first time, you have no idea what his purpose is, you don't know what he's doing, and he kind of feels like a filler NPC. But that's the cool thing about this quest. It really puts some light on some of these random NPCs and some of these random shops in Stormwind that you otherwise would have thought were just filler and were put in just for the sake of filling up space. But in reality, these guys actually play a key role in the quest and subsequently in the game. What I love about this quest is that it highlights these key NPCs and as a result, it makes the city of Stormwind and the entire world of Warcraft feel just a little bit bigger. I love the Valley of Heroes, man. I mean, talk about an epic and grand entrance to a capital city, few do it better than Stormwind. Now while the bishop sent us to Jorgen outside of Stormwind, Jorgen actually directs us to the master of cheese, Elling Trias, who's located in the cheese shop right as you enter the city. Now from this point on, Elling pretty much takes over as the primary narrator of the quest, and he sends you all over Stormwind and all over Duskwood to uncover some clues about the Defias because I believe Elling was a member of the Defias himself at some point, which again is a really cool detail that gives some depth to this character, and as a result, gives purpose to this entire cheese shop. And because this is vanilla, obviously quests are not confined to a specific zone or a specific quest hub. We're going to be traveling all across the world and enjoying the scenic views along the way. So after arriving in Darkshire, we head over to Watcher Bacchus, who is going to give us a briefing on some of the recent device activity in Duskwood, and he tells us about a congregation of gang members at the Adel Stead, which is where we're heading over right now to see if we can discover any additional clues to the missing diplomat. Now this part of the quest is actually pretty challenging because you're going to have to take down a level 26 elite mob. Now typically you wouldn't start this quest until around level 28, so it's not too bad. But again, keep that in mind because this 26 elite is surrounded by other mobs that are normal mobs, but in general at level 28, 29, it's going to be very difficult to take down an elite plus another mob. So if you have a CC ability, a fear, a crowd control, make sure you use it. Otherwise taking down this enchanter can be pretty hard. But once he's dead, we pick up the docket and we're gonna head back to Bacchus to see what he has for us next. I've always loved the Defias gang. I don't know why, to be honest, but something about them is really interesting. They're not necessarily big and flashy dragons or old gods or some crazy monster from another planet. They're just this random human gang in Elwyn Forest, and to me that's always been interesting because I personally prefer stories that are centered around people. I can't really connect with massive dragons and crazy space demons, but humans I can. And I like the idea of introducing this small faction that has legitimate grievances with the city of Stormwind without having to be some kind of end of the world catalyst. 
Now this is where the quest really starts to pick up. You're going to be sent to the old town in Stormwind, and you're going to have to communicate with a guy by the name of Stonefist. Now Stonefist is a dwarf that likes to hang out in old town, but he's also a gang member. And I think that's what makes this part of the quest really, really cool, is that essentially you're going to a ghetto in Stormwind to interrogate gang members. And of course, as a result, they end up ganging up on you. But once you defeat Stonefist, you gain his respect, and as a result, he helps you out with the rest of the quest. I think that's really cool, because in all honesty, that kind of parallels the attitudes and the culture of gangs in real life, and to see that witnessed in a video game is really, really interesting. And again, it's just one of those things that gives the world more life and more depth, and honestly shows you just how much love and detail was put into some of these vanilla quests. All right, so here's where things become vintage vanilla. And I really want to spend a couple of minutes talking about this because I honestly think it's super important. This is a level 28 quest that takes place approximately 25% into the game. And we've already been all over Stormwind. We've been to Duskwood. We've had to go to Westfall to fly back to Darkshire. And on top of that, we've already had to fight an elite. And we just took part in a pretty interesting event that involved us taking down three separate mobs. This is vanilla WoW, guys. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. What a fantastic experience. What an adventure. I mean, for God's sake, we're level 28, and we've already seen more interesting plot points and more interesting quest objectives than we see in some of the later stuff in the game. And I don't want to talk about that too much. I don't want to do a Legion comparison as of now. But seriously, guys, this is why I love Classic. And just as we think we're coming to the end of this quest, we're now being sent to Menethil Harbor in the wetlands, all the way across the continent, to find out who this random guy Slim is. Vintage Vanilla Wow. And honestly, a great quest, and it only gets better from here, and it only gets more challenging from here. I just wanted to highlight those couple of points because I thought they were really cool. And in all honesty, this is what separates Vanilla even from the Burning Crusade and onwards, the fact that there was no real quest hubs and you had to go on these long and epic adventures to solve even the most basic of mysteries. All right, so if you've rolled Alliance back in the day, then I guarantee you're going to recognize this quest immediately. I know I have a lot of fond memories watching this guy Slim take down like level 28s and 29s pretty easily in Menethil Harbor. And you could see a bunch of corpses of random players in front of the inn pretty much at all times because this guy is level 34 and every couple of seconds he spawns additional help. Now because I'm level 33, which is technically like four or five levels higher than the requirements of this quest, I take him down pretty easily. But I think that's a really cool concept. It's kind of like an enrage for this level 34 quest mob. An enrage for a level 34 quest mob. But vanilla's so easy. Really? Am I gonna have to make a video about this? We'll see. Now, I'm not sure if you guys caught this, so I just wanted to point it out. Slim was actually running out of the inn before we caught up to him and killed him, or at least defeated him. I think that's a pretty cool detail. He's not just a static NPC that you run up to and kill. He's actually physically running away from you because he had overheard your conversation with Mikhail and he knew he was being found out. And just when you thought that this quest couldn't take us to any more zones, that's right, we're heading to one more zone, the fifth zone of this quest, Dustwallow Marsh, and we'll be getting there via the boat that's located in Menethil Harbor. Now before we get to the climax of this incredible quest chain, I just want to highlight and recap what we've done so far. We conducted an investigation in Stormwind. We infiltrated a Defias meeting in Duskwood. We fought gangsters in the Stormwind ghetto and earned their respect. We took down the muscle of one of the most feared organizations in the entire game. And now we've crossed the sea to Kalimdor to link up with one of the most iconic characters in the entire Warcraft universe, Jaina Proudmore, and take down the culprit of this entire disappearance. Not bad, Jeff Kaplan. So here we are at the encampment, and we are about to confront Private Hendel, who is responsible for the disappearance of the diplomat, and we are about to bring him to sweet, sweet justice. Now, of course, Hendel has been duplicitous, and his real loyalties lie with the Defias, so because we call him out in front of his superiors, 
he ends up going rogue and attacking us alongside the two other Theramore sentries. He's level 35 and both of the sentries are level 36. There's absolutely no way you're going to be able to kill all of them if you're like level 34 or 35. So make sure if you can, fear the sentries if you have any kind of fear ability. Use Frost Nova if you're a mage. Do something to control them and just focus on Hendel and take him down to as low HP as possible because you don't necessarily have to kill him. The event stops before you do. But again, be very careful because honestly, if you focus on the sentries, you're probably going to die. And when you take him down low enough, Archmage Turvash will intervene and he'll stop the event. And ultimately, they do decide to take Hendel for questioning. But as far as you're concerned, you've completed the quest. And while the reward of the quest is pretty good, Jaina's Ring, I think the real reward is this event. I mean, the idea of encountering one of the most iconic characters in the history of Warcraft and proving yourself in front of her in what's considered to be a pretty decent challenge, I think that's really, really cool. And it's one of the ways where you build up your reputation amongst these faction leaders. I really like it, honestly. I know I'm kind of a nerd with some of this stuff and it's kind of cringy, but in all honesty, I really like the idea of an actual event or an actual quest being a reward in and of itself. And I think the missing diplomat does that really well. The entire quest is so epic and it feels so grand. And the climactic ending where you meet Jaina Proudmore for the first time, I think is absolutely iconic. It's a great experience. And honestly, it just pulls you into the world so much more. But that concludes the story of the missing diplomat. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any quests that you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comments section below. And for more classic WoW content, sub it up and stick around because we got more coming. I hope you enjoy your day, guys. And as always, tips out, baby.